Hey guys, my name is Andy from Zuli Performance and today we talk about which measurements instruments you really need at home for a serious engine build. Let's go! So we start here with an uh, easy tool that is a straight edge. Um, we need them for checking if the deck or the head is straight or maybe some other parts but uh, it is not so expensive. I think something about 40 euro here in Germany and um, it is very important. You can use it also in combination uh, with a feeler gauge. So you can put a feeler gauge between uh, the edge and the part and when it don't stuck you know okay here are 0.15 millimeters uh, gap or something like this. Yes, very good tool in combination with the feeler gauge or you can use it with the lamp in the background that's also a very fast and good way to check if something is straight. Yes, of course a feeler gauge set. Um, most people think you need only these feeler gauges for checking uh, the valve clearance but we use it always every day on a lot of other parts like maybe uh, to checking if the piston ring gap clearance or we use it on the crankshaft between uh, the rod and the crankshaft is there enough clearance or you can for an easy and fast test you can check uh, with the feeler gauge the um, clearance between piston and uh, cylinder yes um, very good tool and uh, of course a must have for an engine build so next pretty good tool what I use daily in my business here an ocular. That is an ocular from me to Toyo. Um, I use it always to check a scratch or when I have a bearing and there is something what I want to check. That is a pretty good and easy tool. It costs not a lot of money and you can use it anywhere. You need nothing. Okay, next tool. I think that is one of the oldest tools I have. That's a birthday present from my dad and um, it works absolutely fine and it is a so good and fast tool. I often uh, use this gauge here to check these uh, chimps. When you have an older Zubi engine um, for the wave clearance adjustment you have uh, these chimps and it is it works so fast and easy. It is perfect. Something about 20 euro. Super tool. Okay here the next tool is the magnetic stand in combination with a normal gauge that's a metotorio uh, in 100 millimeters that is absolutely universal applicable and um, I need it daily you can uh, for example you can uh, measure the, the piston high when it is on the top or you can check if the crankshaft is running uh, fine it is an easy tool and it is pretty cheap I think maybe this combination 80 euro or something like this and in my opinion it is an absolutely must have. Yeah, you can do it with an um, electrical one that is a digital one in 1000 still millimeters. That is much more expensive. I think only the, the these gauge cost something about 3 or 400 euro easy. But in this setup here it is absolutely okay for you at home. You don't need a, a, a measurement gauge here for 4 or 500 euro. Okay, next tools are here these outside micrometers um, that are digital one from Mitotorio. Uh, I will say that uh, the premium one and um, I think this box costs something about 1000 euro but you also can use normal one who are not digital. Um, they are much cheaper and work fine as well for you as a hobbyist. Um, this here works on a thousand millimeter. We not only need them here for work like this to check in here for example the piston. You also can measure or adjust the inside micrometer with this outside micrometer and it works like this. It is not the professional way and we don't do that um, so often like this. The best and professional way is to make it with a calibration ring then you can put the inside micrometer in it and calibrate your inside micrometer. That's uh, not, you don't need it for at home but when you have uh, nice outside micrometers you also can calibrate your inside micrometer with this. And that are the next tools in three different sizes that is from 100, 150 millimeter to 
what is it to 18 millimeters and that are pretty good tools and they are also for the price very very good you also can change this uh, analog one to a digital gauge and uh, then it is more you have more precision maybe like this but so it is in my opinion faster and it is robust you have no no big problems uh, with this tool and and when it's fall down it is no problem because this gauge is not so expensive like this one here and um, it's no big deal to change this uh, gauge yes um, but we are not ready. The last tool, but not the least tool, is um, the digital caliper. And um, these caliper are so universal, applicable, and you can measurement everything so fast and pretty accurate with this. Of course, it is from Mitotoyo. It costs something about 80 euro or something like this, and it makes a lot of things much easier and fast to measure, and you can check if something is wrong or not. And that's, in my opinion, the important measurement instrument you, sh you should have in your shop. And if you don't have one and you want to start engine building or want to start uh, at home something like this, um, this is a giveaway. Here is a Mitotoyo caliper digital, exact the same like this one. Here, brand new. And if you want to... Um, win this nice caliper write down in the comments why you should win this caliper here and maybe say what project you want to start and why you need this caliper here so guys um, subscribe on this channel i would say thank you for watching and don't forget the world is flat